D E D day. <laughs> hey, what's up, my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, I am gonna indulge on this meal. I am. I have been craving chili cheese fries, fried zucchini, and I've never had their um, chili cheeseburger from the burger shop. Um, so I'm excited to try that today. Uh, as most of you guys know, I have been sick, but I am finally better and doing so, 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 so much better. And I'm ready to grab or whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started because I am stuavin. Father, I ask that you bless this meal in the hands I prepared it. May you provide for those going without. You will bless, protect, and provide for my BGA crew and everyone watching. In your precious heavenly name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh, my God. Look at these chili cheese fries. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. And they're fried zucchini. Mm. The fried zucchini always is so fresh. Everything. Everything. Mm. When I go though and I order these, I uncover them on the way back home. That way they don't get soggy and like steam. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's like a chemical smell. I know it's not the food. When when you're dealing with this C19 um Everything smells and tastes different. I'm not even going to lie. It does not taste the same. And even though I didn't lose my sense of taste and smell, I feel like I partially did. Because things that are vinegary or really salty or something, I can't really taste them. And if I do, it tastes like nail polish remover or like chlorinated pool water. It's very strange. Oh man, I forgot to say no tomatoes. Oh, wow, it's already soggy anyway with the chili cheese. Mm -mm. I will never, never order the chili cheese burger again. Ah, oh, this is my worst nightmare. A soggy, soggy burger. Gross. I wanted to try something new. Oh, the pickles, the sourness, and it's like acetone. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful to even be eating. I'm so grateful because I have had no appetite this last week. If I have been eating, it's been because I'm forcing myself to eat nutrients. Uh, my cousin and my aunt bought me a lot of um, citrus, oranges, lemons, and I've been eating that every single day. My mom's been making me teas. Mm. But I should have just stuck with what I normally get. I normally just get um, a, uh, 
a, a bacon cheeseburger from there. But yeah. Yuck. I'm only eating this because I am starving. I'm only going to eat the meat out of it. It's not at all what I pictured. I don't know. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, different. But I'm just grateful to eat. <clears throat> Did, did any is anyone has anyone <clears throat> dealt with that like the residual after effects like you can't like whatever you taste or smell it does smell weird or taste weird I noticed that a lot of things smell rotten like I have these uh plugins from Bath and Body Works Mango, pineapple, pineapple, whatever. I taste it a little weird. This tastes good, but it just doesn't smell right. Um, and I walk in to where the air freshener is at, the plug-in, and um, it smelled like rancid fruit, rotten fruit. Like these, I, I can taste this really good, but the ranch. There's something in the ranch that's like acetone nail polish remover in my nose. I cannot describe it to you guys. I'm scared to put this because anything vinegary, it's like chlorinated pool water. I'm going to test it out. Please, I love Tabasco. Y'all know how much I love my Tabascos. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, not using that again. It's like the first little bites kind of reminded me of Tabasco. And now it's just like chlorinated water, pool water. I wonder why I want my taste and smell back. Mm. Oh, the chili tastes fantastic though. I can taste that perfectly. Mm. I have been craving these so bad. But anyway, um, so just to recap, last week, Wednesday, I had uh, went out to the mall. I was hanging out with Queen Bee and Daniel and my mom and, and I, of course. And we went to do the Sea Life um, Aquarium inside Arizona Mills Mall. <laughs> Excuse me. I was great. However, we're, um, when we got off the car, from the car to the entrance of the mall, my, oh, dishwasher, <laughs> my skin was burning on fire from the sun. I thought it was from the sun. And I see my mom, uh, Queen Bee, and, and Daniel, and they're just like, taking their time walking to the entrance, conversating, enjoying their company, you know? And I'm like, ow, 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 ow. It was abnormal, abnormal burning, severe burning. I couldn't, all I could think of was I'm gonna be engulfed in flames. I need to make it inside this, this thing. And I'm from Arizona, native, born and raised. I'm not that sensitive to the sun, you know? So that was the first indicator, like, wow. But I didn't think, you know. So we make it inside. I'm like, oh, I see, I'm good. We do the whole sea life thing. 
and it was fun. I didn't have no troubles. Everything was great. So that was like a two hour thing. And then we decided to go to Garcia's inside the mall. It's like a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant. <clears throat> we decided to go there for dinner. And, uh, you know, immediately sat down, put our order in. Our order did take a little bit. But um, my uh, iWatch started telling me, you've been sedentary for more than 10 minutes. With, you've been sitting down without moving and your heart rate is high, lower heart rate. And so I look at it and it was 149. And I start to like have like my, you know, I could feel my chest pounding. Uh, the people behind us were so rowdy. It was, I thought they might've triggered like a panic attack, you know, uh, to no fault of their own. It's a restaurant, you know, but, but. I thought I was having a panic attack. I started to feel horrifically sick and sleepy. And I'm like, oh, I think, you know, the rowdiness is like getting to me. I think I'm having a panic attack. I took two bites of my food and I had to take it to go. <clears throat> I felt uh, overwhelmingly uh, fatigued, tired. I just wanted to curl up in a ball right there and just nap so we get in the car my mom and I and on the way back home we're driving I'm like low-key falling asleep and I'm like you know dozing off and I'm like oh no I gotta snap out of it I gotta make it home so then, um, finally, come home, and I lay down, and I am just shivers and, and chills and in a, in a cold sweat. And I touch myself, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm, like, burning up. I'm super, super hot. And I grabbed my thermometer. I had a fever of 104.8. And it, was, it would fluctuate from that with... Um, within a few hours from 101 point something to 104.8 up and down up and down um, that night I think I kind of got it under control went and took a cold shower it was the worst shower of my life freezing cold torturous managed to pass out the next day I still had a, a fever, low-grade fever most of the day, but I felt a million times better. I didn't have the chills, the body aches, none of that. And I just, I, I, I was like, oh my God, this was the worst of it. Like, yay, you know, oh my gosh. And um, I did a live on YouTube and kind of updated everyone that I had tested positive. <laughs> Well, little did I know, I was not through the worst of it. Later that evening, my lungs were attacked. I had so much congestion, it was even hard to breathe. I'm telling you, I was coughing so horrifically that my toes were curled up, my body was like convulsing, and I was trying to gasp for air at the same time as I'm coughing, I'm trying to breathe. It was one of the scariest things ever. So that took me out for three days. For three whole days I was in bed breathing treatments, steroid inhalers, uh, fast acting inhalers, cough medicine, mucinix, cough drops. I mean, you name it, I did it. Vicks. I hate Vicks. 
Mm. Hot teas, ginger, vitamins. I mean, everything. I just went to the extreme. And by the grace of God, I'm still here. You know, being able to tell you guys my experience with this. And so I made it through those three horrific days. It was so bad. I didn't even get on social media at all. I The only time I ever touched my phone was to like call my mom or like text somebody that had texted me to check on me or something like that. But other than that, I and I did not know that it was physically, human, hu humanly physically possible to sleep as much as I did. I'm not lying to you guys. I went to bed early, like eight, every day. Let's say I was in bed, I'd wake up at like three in the morning, use the restroom or something, put on a breathing treatment, whatever, whatever. Go back to sleep, wake up again uh, several hours later, do the same thing, breathing treatment, da 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 <laughs> And then like midday, get up, grab a little bite to eat, a little something, so I wouldn't freaking, you know, D-I-E. Or D E D day. <laughs> um, so I did that and I just slept, slept, slept morning, noon, and night. I was able to watch like, you know, a couple episodes of this and that. But again, I would fall asleep whenever I would try to like pay attention. But other than that, I mean, I was just dead to the world. Um, the only thing I've been having residually is um, my lungs just feel tired, all the coughing. And, um, like, when I, if I speak too much, oh, my God, it was worse, like, two days ago. But I'm a lot better today, and I can talk for longer periods. But it was so bad that even just formulating a sentence, I was winded. I couldn't even breathe. Getting up to the restroom or to the kitchen or whatever, I couldn't breathe. I was, like, <laughs> like, winded. It was so bad. My lungs were so tight full of mucus and all. I know TMI, TMI, but it was just so bad. And the teas and the medication helped clear all that out. And I'm a lot better, thank thank God. And uh, thank you to all of you guys for your remedies and your, um, you know, get well wishes. I truly appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm glad to be back. I'm still not 100%, but that's okay. Um, I'm just grateful that I've been through the worst of it and I'm still here. And yeah, my breathing's still a little affected and my taste and my smell, but that's okay. You know, I'm still here and, um, I'm just, I'm just grateful for that. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna, um, get myself back in bed because I'm already starting to feel like a little clammy. So, yeah, I need to go rest. <sighs> Please continue to keep me and my family in your guys' prayers. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your love and support. If you're new here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.